Hello there, my name is James and welcome to the Easter Egg Hunter, a series covering the very best secrets, Easter eggs and facts. And yes indeed, we are taking a look at Hitman 2 and no, not the 2002 title, but the 2018 game. And over a number of videos we'll uncover every Easter Egg, secret and reference, plus some of the greatest achievements that you can discover. In Vermont, Whittleton Creek to be exact, the home of wide open roads, golden maple trees, verdant lawns and white collar professionals, there are some pretty cool secrets to seek out here. The first is a nod to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as positioned to the southwest of the map hiding underneath a manhole cover which can be lifted with a crowbar found on a nearby tractor, you will find a pizza lurking in the sewer. And if you fancy some more, then there is another pizza that has been thrown up onto an awning overhanging a garage to the northwest, and is a reference to this scene from episode 2 of the third season of Breaking Bad. One of the main targets in Whistleton Creek, as you might already know, is Janus, a former KGB legendary Cold War spy master. And in his basement there is a large portrait which I'm assuming is Janus from his earlier days, as not only does it act as a secret panel helping to conceal a passage to the adjacent property, but it also holds another secret, which can be seen by heading upstairs to kill Janus, then returning to the basement and pointing your gun at the painting where this will happen. Alpha team! Feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still. We are close now, 47. Oh then, in the basement of the property that is being sold for the Schmidt family, there is a security door that can be opened and a security system that activates straight away, though it can be disabled immediately. Yet none of this opens the vault door at the end of the passage. So, how does it open? Well, by heading outside and opening the garage door and proceeding to ring the doorbell five times the vault will open and you can help yourself to this battle axe. Same guy of just Cassidy's, right? Yeah. So, what the? When you head to Mumbai, it's just around the corner to the left of your starting position that you will find an internet cafe sporting numerous PCs, one of which is displaying Hitman 2 Silent Assassin from 2002. And you'll also find a bunch of arcades dedicated to IO Interactive's 2003 third person shooter, Freedom Fighters. Located in the cartel armory in Santa Fortuna, you will discover stacks of money and all these items gathered in the corner that relate to the online multiplayer Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. In Austria, while undertaking a sniper mission to eliminate the remaining Yardbirds, there are quite a few hidden achievements here, including hitting hidden ducks, 47 plant pots, and if you hit this particular spot, you will ignite a fire and unlock the Prometheus achievement, in reference to the Greek Titan Prometheus, who is said to have given the human race the gift of fire. And if you were one of those who loved to lock Lara Cross Butler Winston away in the freezer in Tomb Raider 2, then here's a nice secret for you. As on the Isle of Scale, you can reach the Constance Butler and ask him to follow you, but only after a series of steps, and I'll put a recommended video guide within the description. If you will just follow me. Certainly, sir. And it is after guiding him down to the kitchen and into the cool room that he will say this. say 
so, sir. Exactly what happened to Cousin Winston. Next, we are checking out an achievement dedicated to the Indiana Jones films, which starts off by having to gather up a golden idol from this house positioned to the north of the village in Santa Fortuna. Then, by heading to the southern portion of the map, you'll need to gather a shaman disguise from this chap, which in turn will activate a slot in the tunnels for us to insert the golden idol and unlocking a secret door. We will need to navigate this puzzle to receive an achievement which references a line from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And finally for this installment we are heading to Miami, where in the security office located in the underground car park there are a bunch of post-it notes shaped as Hitman's famous reoccurring rubber ducky. Plus there are two amusing easter eggs that have been discovered here and both involve utilising the flamingo mascot disguise. The first requires grabbing a photo of a flamingo from the photo shoot stall, obtaining a flamingo outfit for yourself and then knocking out this chap and dragging him to level 2 in the Miami Bayside Expo Center and positioning him in front of the android targeting system. Then by scanning the flamingo photo, this will happen. And once you leave the room, you will notice that every person who works on the security team now sports a flamingo outfit. You know, flamingos kind of defy the whole concept of natural selection. I mean, they're big, and they stand around on one leg. But The second easter egg however requires taking care of Sierra Knox first of all and then grabbing a flamingo outfit where you must lure Robert Knox to the satellite control system and execute his bodyguard without him noticing. Then taking care of Mr Knox like this Both targets down. Well done 47. And then you must exit the level utilising the helicopter landing pad to which the easter egg will be activated. <laughs> 